And now for something completely different. Of course, uh, we're talking about money here. It really can fall from the sky, but not exactly. But if you're looking for funding for a new arts project or business, check out the story. It's about a popular website called Kickstarter that helps people raise money through crowdsourcing. Yeah, money is always a topic yeah. that, uh, that we like to talk about. Interesting topic. Yes, very interesting of interest to a lot of people. Now, VOA Suzanne Presto covered the efforts of a Washington woman who is using this non-traditional tool, Kickstarter, to help start a bakery. And Philip Alexio talked to Suzanne about Kickstarter. But before we get to that, let's check out a piece of Suzanne's report. Yael Krigman is equal parts baker and businesswoman. She sells her treats through her company's website, bakedbyyael.com. She was a lawyer, but she knew she was onto something when her homemade cake pops, balls of cake and frosting dipped in candy coating, thrilled colleagues at work. Now she wants to open a shop specializing in cake pops. I was talking to a friend of mine and we were discussing the different options for financing my, my storefront. And we talked about bank loans and investors and he told me about Kickstarter. So what is it exactly? Well, Kickstarter is a company that's based in New York City. Kickstarter is a platform for crowdsourced funding. Entrepreneurs like Krigman post their projects and funding goals, and people around the world pledge money. Backers and Kickstarter don't get a share of the business. But there are incentives, which in Krigman's case are mostly cake pops. So if you donate, let's say, $25, you will get six cake pops you know, Club cake, membership. It's that sort right. of thing. You'll get, a, you'll get a discount once you actually go to her store. Um, depending on how much you pledge, you'll get a different number of cake pops delivered to you. You'll get a cake pop party. Now, what about the success rate? Because I would imagine just about anybody would want to go on there and start collecting money. Well, as far as fully launched projects, so projects that have set a funding goal and met their funding goal, Kickstarter says that that's a 44% success rate, which means there are plenty of people who post projects who do not get successfully funded. If you don't get all the money, if you don't reach the goal that you set, you get no money at all. No money changes hands. So Yael had set a $70,000 goal. Even if she had raised 69000 of that 70000 she wouldn't get a penny unless she reached the 70000 Bank loans are, are difficult to get, especially for small businesses with, with not many assets. And investors, you know, you have to give away part of your company. And I'm really proud of what I've built, and I want to continue to, to grow it. I don't just want to be a manager at a bakery. How would you come upon this story? Where, how, what led you to this? Well, the area that I live in, Washington, D.C., has something called a listserv. So people will post various information, and I get an update every day. And I kept seeing about this business called Baked by Yael, and people saying, I ordered her cake pops, and they were amazing, or I had her bagels, and they were the hit of the, the brunch, and things like that. So I was familiar with the business Baked by Yael. And then when she was getting ready to launch her Kickstarter campaign, they put out a message saying, you know, everybody get ready, there's going to be a Kickstarter campaign. And I thought it was really interesting that this woman was looking to expand her business, that it was going to be in my neighborhood, and that I thought it sort of explained what Kickstarter is all about, because it's such an interesting phenomenon. Also, in your report, you talk about some of the, uh, there was this TV series that was canceled, so you have some Hollywood uh, folks getting online and trying to raise money as well. Um, and I, I think I read where maybe somebody's sort of complaining about that sort of thing. What do you, what do you think about that? You know, if, any, if it meets Kickstarter's guidelines mm -hmm. and you post your project and you don't, you don't agree with that project, that's fine. You don't have to give the money. In the case of Veronica Mars, uh, the series was canceled and its fans were distraught and they were looking for a movie. This is it. This is our chance to make the Veronica Mars movie happen. If we reach our fundraising goal, we'll shoot the movie this summer. The Veronica Mars movie project broke records, raising $5.7 million. That inspired Zach Braff, who used Kickstarter to raise $3 million for his film, Wish I Was Here. Maybe this could be a new paradigm for filmmakers who want to make smaller, personal films without having to sign away any of their artistic freedom. As of now, Kickstarter allows people all over the world to pledge as long as they have a major credit card or a debit card. But it's also looking to expand to other countries so people can post their own projects and start raising their money that way too. More than 101,000 projects have been launched on Kickstarter. So that means more than half a billion dollars has traded hands. And most successful projects, according to Kickstarter, raise less than $10,000. But more and more, they say they're saying projects that are raising you know, in the six figures and even going into the seven figures with things like Veronica Mars. And again, VOA's Suzanne Presto with that interesting bit of reporting there. And by the way, very cool to note, Krigman did actually reach her $70,000 project goal. And since its launch in 2009, Kickstarter has raised more than half a billion dollars to fund more than 35,000 projects, including Krigman's. That's amazing.